the Oracle Eye all there. What we're going to do is we're going to show you my newest paintings. This is monsters walking, stalking victims. It's priced at fifty dollars. And this is called Black is Beautiful. I'm going to show it to you. This is priced uh, $27 a piece. Here are mermaids. This mermaid picture is priced at, I think, 35 This mermaid picture is priced at $15. Okay. And here we have another over paintings. This is Frankenstein and his monster. It's painted mostly with acrylics. Anyway, this is priced at $45. $45. And I'm going to show you some more paintings. Here we have a painting of the Rose Valley train station up in Rose Valley, Pennsylvania. This is priced at, I think, $85. $85. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. Oh, I got one more painting to show you. Here we have Carolers Carolers. It's priced at ten dollars. And here we have a superhero a picture of the superheroes I drew. I think this is painted in markers and paper. This is I think valued at nineteen dollars. Okay. Here we have a tiger that's painted in poster paint and acrylics, valued at five dollars. Um, this painting of uh, is to celebrate the firefighters and policemen of New York City. I think this is valued at three hundred. Okay. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation and uh, let's I'll show you some more. What do you think you're doing? I'm waiting for Valentine's. Oh well, good luck. Thank you. You'll need it. You didn't have to say that. I think I can lie here for a while and not get a single Valentine. Valentine? That's great. I'll get Miss Osborne the biggest Valentine ever. She'll know I love her. Wow, a heart shaped box of candy. Oh, hi, Peppermint Patty. I was getting you a Valentine from Miss Osborne. Kind of expensive, is it? Why don't you spend a Valentine is how much you love her? I don't think it's right to fall in love with a teacher. I didn't say I was in love with her. I'm really fond of the ground on which she walks. 
Well, I have a problem too. What do you got a man secret for Valentine's Day? How about shaving lotion? Do you have any heart shaped shaving lotion? Did you see what what one has got me for a Valentine's present? Fantastic! I'll give them something special too. How about a bottle of heart shaped shaving lotion? Valentine's Day was set aside as a lotus festival. Oh, Schroeder, is that great? A lotus festival. Somehow I don't think you realize you can lose me. Do you realize the consequences of my true love? It's awful! It will haunt you night and day! You'll wake up at night screaming! You can't eat! You can't sleep! You want to smash things! You'll hate yourself the world anybody in! Today's drama is a love story. Theirs is a true love. The adventure began when they set off for the castle in their horse-drawn carriage, wrapped in great coat and wood fur the lovers call him. What do you think? It's very good. Perhaps I should avoid you with this next scene. What next scene? When the carriage crosses a swollen river. Down the road and through the canyon. Across the ridge and up the muddy road. Muddy road? <laughs> Down the road and through the canyon. Suddenly the earth rumbled. It was an avalanche. Avalanche? What do you think so far? What could be worse? Suddenly the lovers of their character are attacked by bandits. As the lovers is flood by the, the castle, Thunder rose, and they began to rave. Oh no! Lord's embrace. True love has conquered. For the nuns performed this warning, remind me not to come. I can't say it. I can't pull anything. I can't cut anything. I don't know how to piece. What's the matter, Sally? Oh, big brother. Did you see the Valentine and why this fought for me? This really great has made something special. Why don't you just make a heart like this? Or again, in grief. Like me coming too. Cut diamond heart moves when you open it up from the night. We'll have our party of refreshments. Did you see my name on any Valentine's? No, I didn't. Was I supposed to see one? Well, if you see anyone, let me know. <laughs> I can't put my Valentine in my box. Uh, is it right if I cut it personally? The soft part, is it right if it goes personally? <laughs> she said it'd be delightful. As I expected. Oh, thanks. What happened? He forgot to give me my vodka candy. Ooh, he's bashful. I'll get him later with a big smooch. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pass out the Valentine's to everyone. One with one brief briefcase is enough. Maybe I should have gotten one too. One for Linus, one for Lucy, one for Frida, one for Sally, one for Frida, no one for Frida, one for, for Violet, one for Peppermint Patty, one for Marcy, one for Jill. Where's Jill? And a Valentine's candy. Hey, that was me. Find a sweet baby. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul from reach. I'm feeling no sure of ideal grace. I love thee to every day of quiet ease. My sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men try for right. I love thee purely as men turn for praise. I love thee to every day passion for the grief with my childhood faith. I love thee to the wild way. I love thee with the breath. Smile, here, while I live. And this God, God chooses 
I love thee, but after death. Or get it, kids. Well, that's it. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Freshmen for sure. Did you see my name on any Valentine's? No, not one. What's with Osmore? If you're looking for her, she's gone. Gone? She just left for her boyfriend. What happened? You had my new, you had my box of candy. Where did you go with that? Hey, you know that. This is that shaving lotion you told me to buy. I forgot where it's been. Excuse me, party has to go. Why? Where are you going? Here goes with this Osmar. I just started losing her boyfriend. Lord, he just got to Miss Osmar's car with my box of candy. What do we do now? He's just a crazy mixed up kid. <sighs> she left. I spent all my money. I made a fool of myself. This one's for love, and this one's for Valentine's, and this one's for romance. This is for Elizabeth Barrett Browning. This is for ILSD. This is for... Oh, oh. I don't know, I don't know. Well, another Valentine's Day is coming on. I give anything about little red hair girl to be a Valentine. You know that's it, maybe she give you a valentine. This is my mailbox right now. I'm afraid to look. I'll be crushed. She did it? I've got to look. I hate Valentine's Day. I feel sorry about not giving you a valentine, so I raised my name from this one, and I want you to have it. Who do you think you are? Try to run the door. Don't listen. I'll take it. I know I feel bad, but it was my first Valentine. I didn't work out too well either. Or, Miss Osmore left with her boyfriend. She never knew I had a Valentine. This is the start of a trend. This is a big one. This is something big. I don't get a lot of Valentine's. I don't need three, three kids and I got two. Happy Valentine's Day, Charlie Brown. I'm on my way to Grady's house, I'm on my way to Grady's house, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Hello, little girl, who are you? My mommy told you not to speak to strangers that you are definitely a stranger. Well, if you introduce myself, I won't be a stranger. My name is Ward Wolf, and I live in these woods. Where are you going? Oh, well, I'm going to see my grandmother. She's sick and I bring her a basket of goodies. You know, I had a hunt that she's probably skipped town and she's out of the hospital. Sure, because the couch is over the moon. <laughs> that little red thinks she's so smart. Hmm. I'll have to surprise her with it's her at her grandmother's house. Let's take a little shortcut. And so the wolf ran right through to grandma's house with my means for a shortcut. Seeing that Granny was at home, he got to in her bed. <laughs> what will, will Red be surprised? Grandma, are you home? Hey, hello, dearie. Are you there? Uh, yes, I am. But just come in. Jeez, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Uh, the better to see you with my ear. Grandma, what big ears you have. Uh, the better to hear you with my ear. Grandma, what big hands you have. The better to hug you with my ear. And Grandma, what big teeth you have. Oh, I love this part. The better to eat you with my ear! And so he chased her out of the room. Uh, but the wolf didn't realize that Gritty, that little red, had a bunch of firecrackers. I hey, blew them all the way to China! And now I'm going to surprise somebody at the hospital. I'm on my way to Granny's house. I'm on my way to Granny's house. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. We need to go back on one soon. How was that? Ted, that was really funny. That was totally funny. Okay, I have one for Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay. I 
I can't believe this. Every time a beast talk goes by growl, I decide to climb it. Maybe I should get a new fairy tale. Welcome to the land of the clowns. Wow, what do I do? Run away from the giant says, Feed me by no man on the drill. Maybe I should take my chances with the wicked witch of the west. <laughs> Every time. Can't you come up with something else to say? What? You know the story. I guess you're gonna run down the beast stalk with your buddy Harvard chicken, which is stealing. I cut down the beast stalk. Maybe you should eat more vegetables with less people. <laughs> Don't be the free of me anymore. I'm going home. convinced him how boring he was. The gold is yours if you want it. Keep it. Donate it to the poor. Who was that? Robin Hood? Rock story! <laughs> Request. Papa Bear? Mama Bear? And the Baby Bear. Every morning, the Mama Bear would cook up a delicious batch of porridge. Mmm. Porridge. Food for a bear. Yowch, this porridge is too hot. So they decided to take a walk to let the porridge cool off. <laughs> Meanwhile, there was a little girl who was always trying to make her mark in the world. Goldilocks. One day, Goldilocks found at the bear's house. I don't know if this is right. And she went inside. Oh my, this place is a mess. Hmm. Here's some porridge. <laughs> Ooh, this porridge is too hot. Ooh, this porridge is too cold. Hmm, this porridge is just right. So she ate the whole thing. Then she was tired. She wanted to sit down. She sat in Papa Bear's chair. This chair is too hard. She sat in Mama Bear's chair. This chair is too soft. Then she sat in Baby Bear's chair. This chair is just right. But Goldilocks was too big and she broke it. After that, Goldilocks was pretty tired, so she decided to lay down and take a nap. First, she laid in Papa Bear's bed. Ah, this bed is too hard in the head. Then she laid in Mama Bear's bed. This bed is too high in the feet. Here's a little bed. She laid in Baby Bear's bed. This bed is just right. The Goldy Bear took Goldy Bear <laughs> laid down to take a nap. But soon, while she was sleeping, the bears were coming back from their walk. What's this? Someone's been in our house. Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge, and they ate it all up. Hmm. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, and they broke it. Why me? Papa Bear wanted to investigate what was going on. Hey. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And she's still there. Papa Bear chased Goldilocks out of the house. Whoa, bears! And she's still running today. Meanwhile, Papa Bear had a realization. I need to get tighter security. The end. <laughs> well, that's it for our show this week. And we want to know it's been really amazing, interesting, wonderful. And on behalf of us um, at the JPN Ted Show, I'd like to say a few songs. You know, you know, say a few songs.
yesterday. I knew the games to play. I knew the way that life was meant to be. And all life was all worth was the way things were just meant to be. Love is all I have to give. Love is all as long as I shall live. Take it all and I'll always be I don't know that love is all, love is all I have to give, love is all as long as I shall live, Ten Thank you. Anyway, just a quick film word announcements. Um, next week I'll be doing the show at the Wayne Art Center. Really amazing. Some people want to see my artwork. And I'll be doing the show at the Baxter Theater up in Philadelphia. And I'll be doing the show at the Kibble Center up in Philadelphia. It's really interesting. Hopefully we can get to do some more shows. And Oh, some more shows. Um, I'll be doing a show at with Jonathan's Big Band. And next, this summer, I'll be doing a show with the Fourth War Friends of the Arts, a date we always look forward to. All right, thanks for being to our floor director, for sitting, for helping me out. Thank you. And to my sister, Lindsay, for helping me put got this tape. Anyway, anyway, just remember, we had lots and lots of fun, you know, but now it's time to go. If death shall reign, the ever remain, the ever remain, I'll be in heaven, still doing this show. See you next time.